So good morning everybody. Uh, bank holiday Monday here in Dublin, uh, in Ireland rather, the whole country has a bank holiday Monday. Uh, and it is, uh, shit, Monday the 3rd of May. Uh, so I'm just, just been in the lab here this morning, doing a bit of cleaning, uh, bleaching all the surfaces that I can. I like to bleach down. Uh, I use bleach now. I've tried all the other things, Vericon, the house bank. Bleach kills nearly everything. So I tried to soak the place down at least once a month, try and kill everything off. Um, I think the last video I mentioned, I was on working the full roundabout system um, and everything was going well. I have young boards on the floor, uh, as you can see here. So these are the youngsters that we've been breeding. Uh, most of these, uh, this is one of the dandelion youngsters. Absolute nice, nice looking youngsters. Uh, they've been getting fed on the floor. Uh, really, really happy with them. Most of these, uh, would be double grandchildren of Musgrove Wizard, that's definitely one of them I know by the size of it. Uh, double grandchildren of Musgrove Wizard, most of it is. Um, Twelve of them are destined for Nick Harvey in Taunton, they'll be heading off on Friday, uh, that's where they're going. Um, and I just wanted to give kind of an update of what's happening. So, you know, we all, we all raise pigeons and we all raise them in our own manner and our own way and we follow our own systems. I'm following a roundabout system. And because I have the boards separated roughly a week now, and the young boards are on the floor, I've been rounding about the hens and cocks. Okay, I have two traps here. So this is one here beside me, and this is the other one here, as you can see in the double, and uh, the same here, you can see. So the traps, they go out one and in the other. Okay, it's, it's a great way. I have a corridor closer here, so they can't mix hens and cocks. There's no chance of them running into each other unless I want them to. Um, but what I did notice with my hens were, because I have 15 young boards on the floor, I'm sure you all get this, if you put young boards on the floor, you'll notice it. There's always one or two hens or one or two cocks that feed most of the young boards. And that can cause a big drain on the hens. Especially, I don't want the cocks, for some reason, cope with it better. But the hens don't seem to at all. So when I noticed this the other day, and um, what day is today? Today is Monday. So I noticed that they were separated about three or four days. But I noticed every time the hens were in, there was one or two specific hens. One really was covered in, 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 in wet you know, from feeding the young boards. So I decided then that was the end of it. The hens weren't feeding the young boards at all, okay? So, the cocks are still on a heavy feed, feeding young boards, which is great. But the hens are now on a lighter mix. Uh, they're on, uh, they're on about two towards barley and one toward, uh, one toward super diet, just to bring them back around into condition. They're flying exceptionally well. They've done an hour to an hour and a half a day, which is fantastic. So that's not it, it's the next one there. I'm just gonna show you what I'm feeding them at the moment. Um, and I will increase the feed then a bit heavier during the week. So at the moment, this is what they're on. i just open it up. So I'll just use this one here. So there we go. So you can see that. So that's one toward super diet, two towards barley. And added to that, I use my usual oils. I probably have garlic on that one today. And then I would add the supplements, whether they be the Fraser, Fraser, Fraser supplements or the probiotics or the immunoboosters, whatever you use, I just put them on them, okay? So I noticed that the hens weren't, like I said, one or two of them weren't great because they were feeding too much. And uh, one of them then was late home from training on, I think it was probably Tuesday or Wednesday. So I decided at that point, that was it. The hens were not feeding the cocks, the young boys. So the hens have been going now. The corridor has been locked, so the section's all cleaned out. The corridor door has been locked, so the hens actually can't get in to feed the young boards. I obviously have the door closed here, the cocks are down the far end. And um, when the hens come in, they're in the corridor here. I normally wouldn't do this, they would normally be fed in the section before they moved. But I'd move the cocks out and run the hens straight down and feed and water them in that section. Just until I get these young boards weaned. Now these are actually going to be weaned today. They're all feeding very very well there's 15 young boards there 12 of them are going to nick harvey and taunton as i said um out of the 12 probably six to eight of them will be double grandchildren of musgrove wizard out of the harvey line i have here uh, musgrove wizard three times barcelona i produce double grandchildren out of them because uh, i have the the, the the children off from here um so they're going to nick to have a go at racing with and i'm going to send them four of the dandy lobs pigeons whatever way it's going to be balanced out to 12 anyway so whatever way they go, they'll be going over, they'll be going over to Nick. So other than that, everything is going quietly. I pretty much finished breeding apart from, I am now putting down Musgrove Wizard again for myself. 
uh, I have him with four hands. So he'll be feet breathing with four hands. Hopefully we'll get six to eight young birds out of four hands. That would be nice. Um, and they'll be staying here. And then I have also uh, of these youngsters here. So these boards in here, some of these will actually be going out this week. Uh, these are going down to Tipperary, some of these, and the others are staying here. So there's, there'll be a handful stay. I'll have about probably five or six will be staying here. And then I have uh, a couple of young boards, eggs hatching out in the stock section that I want out of uh, Arden pigeons I have, okay? So all in all, uh, fantastic. I'm, I'm really happy with the way the the, the, the the cocks are flying, the hens are flying. I'm up, I usually get up about half six in the morning, this is how I do it. I'm up about half six in the morning. Whatever boards are down there, the hens usually will go out and the cocks will go training. The next day, the cocks will go out and the hens will go training, so I alternate it. But it's got to a point where I can't bring them down. So they're out at half six, seven o'clock flying and they just don't come down. It's usually about eight o'clock. So they're doing an hour, between an hour and two hours. That's without flagging them. I would sometimes, at the start of it, if they come down within 15 minutes, I'll, I'll, I'll shake them up, get them back up. But then I don't have any problems. They just keep moving, which tells me that they're in good order. And I'm quite happy with that. Um, but just on observing them and making sure they're all fit and healthy, they certainly seem to be, okay? The droppings are all good. I can't complain, the young boards are being well read. If there was a problem with the young boards, there's usually a problem with the old boards feeding them. Um, so I can't, I actually can't complain about the way things are at the moment. I am going to be sending um, the older boards, my younger, my yearling boards aren't going anywhere. They're gonna hold off for another couple of weeks. Um, I'm gonna prep these older boards now for these French races that we're gonna have a go with. Uh, like I said, Le Mans is going to be the first one. Um, then we have North Sur, Edra and Poit here, so I'll be sending all of my older ones to Le Mans. And then, four weeks after that, provided I get some back, they'll be going back to the Poitiers race, which is another 100 miles. So we just have to see how that goes. That's gonna be a watch this space. Um, but I'm really, really happy with how the boards have come on. The young boards are there. I have a few of the older young boards uh, mixed in with a couple of spare, spare pigeons, spare old boards. Uh, that cock that came back, the, seven, the six year old pigeon that came back. Not too interested at the moment, getting them fed, getting them watered, getting them flying. They're on quite a light mix as well. They're on two thirds of the barley and a 50-50 roughly there on barley and super diet to keep them moving. Um, when I mix in the other young boars now, because all of them will be getting mixed, I will make the feed a bit heavier, simply because I want them to grow still. The young boars, so you don't want them falling back by putting them on super diet or barley. So they'll go, the whole lot of them will just go on the breeding mix for about two or three weeks before I bring it back down. Once them young boards are starting to go out and flying, I'll bring it back down slightly just to, to make it a bit lighter. Now, that's that's just, just what I like to do. That's the long and the short of this. Um, so yeah, so it's all going well. Roundabout system's going well. The boards seem to have come onto it well. They go out one in the other and they're flying exceptionally well. So I can't really complain about that end of it. So really I'm very, very happy to say the least. Um, so that's it, lads. Look, I hope your racing season is going well. Sarah Road Fed have had two races. One, not so good because of the weather. One exceptional race the other day. It was a very good race on Saturday. Uh, by all accounts, everybody seemed to put up good returns, good velocities, good steady race. Um, and it looks like it was that way for most of the feds all over the country. So absolutely fantastic. Hopefully it continues on for the rest of the season and we get some great racing. All right, lads. Talk to you soon. Have a good one.